we had we were doing like an hour right. of course he had the he had no idea that Mo saw the bust being raised with the cloak dangling on it primarily because in his wheelchair he couldn't see out of his window so we just kept pulling the bust up it looked like it was flying And that is how the magical murderer disappearing into the sky came to be. Everyone's like, oh, what? <laughs> so you see, the only person who could have pulled this off is the one person who was able to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene. Acro, it could only have been you. Yeah, he's over here chillo. Chillo. <laughs> Mellow and chill. Probably because he's high on weed. So his brother's in the hospital. Akra's <laughs> been playing mind games with all of us. He sure has. But he has to come to the end of this rope now. And then Von Karma's gonna be like, well, we don't have a motive. And then Q trial part two. You said this trial was only going to take an hour, and it's been more than an hour. You lied to me. I want a refund. <laughs> so. You should see how like small the guide is, so I honestly thought it would. They just talk a lot. Yeah, they do. What now? Oh, he piss. He pissy. You've graced us with a rather long-winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? Yeah, evidence? In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence and the power of my whip. <laughs> Von Karma, that's not how the court system works. Not in Japan, California, maybe. <laughs> maybe in fucking Germany, but yeah, not in Japan, California. Don't forget the power of my gavel as well. No, my whip is stronger. <laughs> my gavel will bonk you. Bonk. Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? Nick, they say that they want evidence. Yes, Maya, I can hear. Nick has ears. <laughs> Maya, God, I want to... Maya, just leave. Never co Don't come back. <laughs> You're an awful side character. For today, yeah, I can see why they got rid of pearls. <laughs> I just explained how there was only one possible murder method. But there's still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness count. I don't remember. <laughs> unusual? Uh, he didn't see the roses. Well, Shadow? Shadow from the light? The roses. No, there was no roses. That's why. Mm. So if we can bring up that by using like maybe the promo poster, then it's a contradiction, actually. Okay, then use that and get us out of this jam. Thank you, Maya, for telling me what I'm doing. That's enough talks amongst yourselves. Proceed, Mr. Wright. Present some evidence to court that backs your claims. I'm getting a bit raspy. Well, I hard, hard proof. proof that you have unraveled the trick to this magic proof case. So is it the poster? Yeah, because that's where the right roses are. The problem is Max has three symbols. Oh god. My body hurts. Oh, I just popped my hip. Uh, I can't get comfortable in this chair. We're gonna have- chair. Huh? I said get another chair. Uh, no. I don't have another chair that will fit in this little corner. And you won't believe how much effort it took to get this chair into this place. A lot. Okay. We'll probably have to take a break soon anyway, just so I can stand We're up We're almost done with part one. Okay, we'll, we'll take a break after that. You know the silk hat, the cloak, and the white roses? 
those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. Yesterday, there were two contradictions in Zmo's testimony. The silk hat was one, the white roses were the other. Woses. Woses. But the Whoa. theory I just presented explains all of these contradictions. You fool! Do you ever shut up? Do you ever no. stop whipping? Sparkle. <laughs> Max's silk hat was found at the scene of the crime. However, remember what Mo said yesterday. He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. There's only one explanation for that. The bust. The silk hat that Mo saw was actually the bust. Makes sense if you look at it that way. Then he did see the silk hat. Well, sort of. Fine, you've got that one, but what about the other contradiction? The other contradiction? Yes, roses, Judge? Remember what the ventriloquist said in court. He said that he witnessed white roses on Max's chest that night. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. The clown said that there were no white roses. Oh, because it swung around. Maybe. So well, I don't think- I think he side. just- I think he just didn't see white roses, but- because there's none on the bust, it looks like. But regardless, if their cloak was on it, then they would be disappearing anyways. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see you try and explain that one away. Can you do it, Nick? Of course. I can explain all of it. What was that? I said I can explain all of it. <laughs> Please recall the instant when the cloak snagged onto the bust. If the cloak snagged onto the bust, what happened to the white roses? Wrapped around. Yep, I figured. Do you get it yet? If the cloak got snagged onto the front of the bust, it means that the white roses were end up on the back of the bust. Ah! Which explains why Mo didn't see them. The white roses were not visible because they were on the back side of the bus. Order, order. This is quite a shocking state of affairs. Mr. Wright's theory still sounds a bit absurd to me. And Phoenix will be like, I'll take that as a compliment, thank you. <laughs> However, let's just keep going down this road for a while and see where it leads. Let's do this, Nick. Both of us? You're not doing shit but talking shit, Maya. And I'd be like, are you sure you can do this? She I doesn't even, like, talk to any of the other people besides Phoenix so far. Yeah. Then maybe Von Karma will finally throw in the towel. No, no, no. We have a second part two of the try we have to do <laughs> to expand the content of this game because the plot says so. Well, so much for that theory. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you mind? What is it? You took your, the time to research for our circus, didn't you? Well, Yes, I did. Is there something making you think that I didn't? If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Um, why is that? Motive. This witness feels an incredible debt of gratitude towards the Ringmaster. Anyone with any relation to the circus is well aware of this. We, we know why. We know what the motive is. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. I didn't read that. I right-clicked and it went bye-bye. Oh, no. <laughs> blah, 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 Basically, she says there's no way he would kill the ringmaster. Yeah. Your Honor, I'd like you to hear Akro's story. None of us his relationship with the ringmaster and his life up until now. What do we do? We? We? I would like you there to revise no your we. testimony, Maya. <laughs> the only we we've had is you to 
like fangirling over Galactica. We, Maya, I request that you revise your testimony. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt in that Acro deeply respected the Ringmaster. Acro's motive. Hmm. It seems that this case isn't over yet. Yeah, because the game needs to have more padding to it. <laughs> Very well. However, I feel this is a good place to take a break. Yes, because my I hips really said that, so. <laughs> my hips need to stretch. I will listen to the rest of Dingling's testimony after recess. Oh, yay. We get to go play in the snow? Judge. This court will now take you. a ten-minute recess. Dang. Make it 15, actually. I want the hoagie. I want, I'm gonna take that hoagie. I'm gonna eat that hoagie. Okay. Hips don't lie. My hips don't lie. And they're telling me to stretch. Mm. Yeah, save my game. Save my game, save my game, save my Okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna go on a quick five minute break. And we'll be back to finish the trial and maybe start the next one, depending on how time treats us. Alright, friends. We are back to finish this godforsaken trial. There is no trial. There's only Zool. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so that entire thing there's took... Only Zim. That entire thing took four hours. To be fair, we did talk a decent portion of it. Well, no, no, no. Like, in-game, it took four hours. We can do it! <laughs> Hi, Dayless Knight. How are you? Welcome to stream. And yes, we can do it. I just need to see if my body ah, can sit here. Go get water. Go get water. Okay, I'll do that. Talk to Dayless Knight. Hi, hi. <laughs> my part is itchy. Your heart is itchy? Alright, chat, you're gonna watch me flip my hair again. Woo! Fluffy! Wow, amazing. You've got a real bounce to your step. I'm a wee bit drunk. <laughs> How's the game going? Jeez. Game's going good. Um, Grant lied to me and said this trial would last an hour, and here we are. Look, how many testimonies do we have? Listen, listen. We three. Listen. Three so far. Listen. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> I I can go back and count to make sure we've had. Too many. <laughs> Sorry. No, we had two. And we then Shreem kept witness. dying. We had Acro's physical state, and now we're having his third one about the Ringmaster. I'm gonna tear it to shreds. If there's anyone to blame, we just have to blame Von Karma for like drawing, dragging it out. Anything to win the case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we won't do anything because we're not like a dirty little shithead like Von Karma, but still. To be fair, this is what a real trial is like. <laughs> Yeah. I, I can't believe it, Acro. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It's. It definitely is, <laughs> and to think he was always the most straightforward of the group. I love that dramatic change. It's just so good. It's so jarring. It's good. <laughs> Jabez, am I that hated? <clears throat> Acker tried to pin the murder on you on purpose. He, he did? Psst, psst. <coughs> but, but I'm nothing but a good whole nobody, you know? Someone's trying to get their attention, yet they're all, like, unbothered. <laughs> but you're not. Which is kind of the reason why. <coughs> oh, it's, it's hey, Gumshoe. Hey, pal. <laughs> it's Gumshoe. <laughs> I finally found the bust. <laughs> I do love the series, and the anime is amazing. I can't wait to watch the anime. Grant recommended that I don't watch it until after I finish Justice for All. Yeah, because For the, the sake of spoilers. It, for the sake of spoilers, and I think the game does a better job mm -hmm. in telling the actual story. So if you watch the anime, you would already know the like answers to the questions in the game. But like in a 
not as good version in my opinion. I think I will say this. I think the story that they tell in the anime with the circus is probably the only one that is better than the game. Mm -hmm. But I've every other other one, every other case is better than the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to watch it. So hopefully within the next month or two, I'll be able to finally watch it, which I'm excited for to see Phoenix and Edgy and their sexual tension in full animation. <laughs> Deja vu. There's a lot of yelling with a lot of like, like okay air bending. This. It seems I'm okay with this. <laughs> I do love this series. Yeah, we've been streaming it every Friday. Um, Grant's been helping me I with love, voice acting. I've been love voicing it for you. Yeah, good. I'm glad. <laughs> We're gonna do the third one in this trilogy, and then we'll see how much voice acting is required for the new game that's coming or the game that's getting ported to pc which is like fingers crossed that i can help with that as well was it like ace something uh i don't remember off the top of my head i wrote i wrote it in my planner that's supposed to come out sometime next month um but there is no set date as of right now okay so gummy shoe You're gonna ignore me after I win all this trouble to bring you some evidence. Oh my god, he, our homeboy. Fucking love him. Ah, Detective Gumshoe! Where have you been? Ah, oh, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. <laughs> Gumshoe, come on. Did did Von Karma whip like you that, that badly? Now, now, detective. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little? He can't. He's 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 got a butt plug up his ass because of Von Karma. I can't. I don't know if you're being serious or not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've got some really tasty milk. How about a card trick, detective? You can't say no to a card oh, trick. Oh, oh well, if you insist. <laughs> Now about that evidence you mentioned, what is it? Here you go. Oh, it's that. It's the handkerchief. Huh? Huh? This was yesterday in Akro's room before fucking Von Karma came and snatched it. Yep, and I've included the forensic results. Take a look at it later. Can I take a look at it now? <laughs> well, Miss Karma... Miss... Could try Will Miss Von Karma be mad that you're doing this? Let's look. Bat's scarf, which is the brother, oh. stained with his blood in a small quantity of pepper. Oh. Okay. What? Acro is really going to regret. Acro is really going to regret having placed that pepper inside the box. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't work for Von Karma anymore. That's why this is all a secret. Huh? Oh, that's Phoenix. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> okay. Huh? Look, details are a need to know basis. We're not really allies or anything. But everything that's happened in court up until now has been gone according to our plan. I don't know. Miss Von Karma didn't seem in control of things in there just now. Maybe she's acting. Acting! <laughs> You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans were set into motion. Is Gumshoe no longer on our side? What the fuck is going on? Who is this pod person? <laughs> final plans? Uh huh. That reminds me, I've got a message from the prosecutor for you. Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. That's it, and that's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. Okay, bye. That didn't sound like it was from Von Karma. That, that didn't. <laughs> Von Karma, I think, would have the balls to say that to our face. What if he's working for the other Von Karma? Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> what did he mean by that? The very end part. I'm not sure. It was all pretty cryptic to me. Oh, one more thing. Ah, don't scare me like that. 
It looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. That sounds sus. It's a bomb. <laughs> what? For me? It's milk. Why is it all milk? <laughs> he likes milk, I guess. Maybe is it supposed is it like a mocking thing? I don't think so. I think he actually really likes milk. But why would the circus give it to him though? If like because everyone they hates feel him. Bad that he's being tried for something he didn't do. Well, no, cuz like Ben didn't like he... him. That's true. Mo is trying to but... like become the new ringmaster, so maybe and like Regina is here. Yeah. I don't th I don't think Regina's a part of this. Well, didn't Regina give him milk too? Maybe. Of course, maybe she just all just knows he likes milk. I don't Evil Gumshoe, I'd pay to see that. Oh man, all right. All right, chat. I've got this evil plan, you see. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to eat a sandwich and then I'm going to leave. <laughs> Perfect plan cuz all the evidence will be in my stomach. Beautiful. Let's listen, all six viewers. I need I am demanding me. fan fiction of Evil Gumshoe. It's not a request, it's a demand. <laughs> I can't draw though. It, it, fan fiction. I didn't say fan art. It's a fan fiction. Oh, I can't ah, that. That would be great to see. It would be. You know, if I make Evil Gumshoe, I'm just going to make a parody of him where he's just eating sandwiches and stuff. Like Hi, Lex. Shit. Thank you for the poster check and stretcher deem. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to push the. Uh, fine, I'll lean up. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> How's a yawn check sound like to you, Lex? <laughs> a yawn check. How are you? How are y'all, lovelies? We are good. Um, I'm stream good. died twice, so it's a treat. Uh, um, this we game is more horny than it makes out to be, and I'm kind of sad about it, because <laughs> Donnarumma is the only horny thing- oh, We can only have one horny thing happening at once on the channel, and Donnarumma is the current horny thing, so why is Phoenix Wright trying to top it? I don't know. It's, it was out way before Donnarumma. Whatever. Yeah, Donnarumma came out like 10-11 years ago, but still, even then, why is Phoenix Wright Phoenix? trying to be horny now? That's just, I think that's just Japan in general. In Japan, of course. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't write the fanfic if I was ever good with creative writing. I like creative writing. I just am not, I don't feel comfortable enough with this universe to write for it. Um, cause like, I just don't write things, otherwise I would. I mean, I, Red vs. Blue, I feel totally comfortable writing for because I, I absolutely love yaoi. the show. Um, so I, I feel comfortable writing within the universe and even writing AUs for the universe and feel like I can properly, uh, portray the characters. Phoenix Wright? Not so much. Hi, Riley. See that you're lurking, which is fine. The cool, cool that you're here. The reception area looks like some kind of dairy. <laughs> so hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. Um... I think that's just gonna. Uh, what if? What if we're lactose intolerant? <laughs> what is his like? What is his like process for eating? Like milk is very fattening. An entire dairy's worth of milk for me? Oh, it just cuts. All right. <laughs> Literally, just him drinking all the milk and consuming and getting fat. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Court is now back in session. I hope you all are ready in the audience to watch this file. Miss Von Karma, please continue from where you were left off, and I will grab my popcorn. <laughs> I'd like to continue with Akro's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. i also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Akro would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dingley. The chewing noises, I fucking can't. <laughs> <laughs> we go the extra you mile here, it? Aaron Gray's YouTube. Uh, not, what is this? Not a YouTube channel. What is this? <laughs> Twitch? Aaron Gray's Twitch. TikTok? 
What is a talk tick? I don't know. <laughs> this is uh, the extra step that I put into for my voice acting. This is my space. <laughs> <laughs> we go with the extra step here. <laughs> yes. Dubra. Yes, Dubra. Your Honor. I have to say that. Discount red white. I'm not used to it. Discount red white. <laughs> Discount red white. I am red. You yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Please proceed with your testimony. Can I just voice him as Red White the entire time now? Can you? I I'm okay with yeah. that. I'm completely okay, okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I still have he gets sad later Mr. On. Red White's Christmas album coming to you on a YouTube channel and a SoundCloud <laughs> this holiday season. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. <laughs> no one can rock it like Red White. <laughs> Finally, we get to, to the motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Why are you so concerned with how G Nick is doing? Is this because he wouldn't tell you what the fuck happened to Edgeworth? Is that why? <laughs> Maya, are you like salty that he won't tell you your f tell you his feelings? <laughs> MySpace? The old one though, right? I mean, I never used MySpace, so... And I really don't even use Instagram or... T Twitter. I was a TikTok. I don't even own a TikTok. I don't have an account. Um, Facebook basically bought uh, MySpace. Yeah. They were worried about competition. And then the, they put a robot in charge of human connections. <laughs> Zuckerberg. Damn it, Zuckerberg. Every time I hear Zuckerberg, I can't help but think of Timmy Turner's deck. Zuckerberg. <laughs> Dinkleberg. Dinkleberg. Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Did you have to Why are we so <laughs> ominous? <laughs> Vicious with my sister. I only in my head, Maya. <laughs> what? Gulp. <laughs> Testimony. So when the other bird, the third bird isn't in this picture, does that mean he's trying to peck between? Uh, Phoenix's I can, eyes. I can only imagine that's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to distract, trying to distract. Trying to distract. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. <laughs> this, is... <laughs> this is good content. <laughs> that's when the ringmaster of the very big circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. Child labor laws, anyone? <laughs> I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Child labor laws? To be fair, he didn't say he worked as an acrobat, that he just, like, became an acrobat. Wow. Mm, you're such a thoughtful young man. I Is sound he... an awful lot like the one guy. Is he young? Hold on, wait a second. He's like Twenty something. <laughs> Twenty six. Okay, I guess he's kind of young. I mean, my age. In the judge's eyes, he's a young man. Okay, wait. I thought you were twenty five. To... Me? Yeah, I thought you were twenty five. Uh, I was born in nineteen ninety six. I'm in ninety eight. That... Oh wait, because you already turned your age this year, right? Yeah. Does that make, yeah, okay, so you're 26, yeah. I, I was almost, I was like, it's. I'm so early in the year, I was almost born in, tw in 1995. <laughs> God. January 1st. <laughs> <laughs> Not that early, but pretty darn close. Okay, so fun story. Story time with, uh, unwritten story time with Aaron Gray. So, I'm not going to say my real name, but, like, my mom. So, I was born in April, and... My mom's due date for me was Easter of my birth year. So I don't know if my mom was being serious or not. I hope she wasn't. But ever since I was younger, she always joked that like, oh, you were going to be an Easter baby. And if you were born on Easter, I was going to name you Bunny. Like dead ass. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so well, glad you didn't because I probably would have murdered somebody right now. I almost had a different name as well. Really? My parents picked my name out of a hat. 
I my mom wanted to name me <laughs> my mom wanted to name me Skylar, which I actually really do like that name. I hate my real name. I'm not gonna say my real name because of privacy. Um, 96 makes you 25. You can't be both one year and two years older than me at the same time. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> I Anything's am. just gotten so weird for me for some reason where it's hard. Eventually, it's just you don't keep track of it anymore, honestly. Mm hmm. Okay. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that after what killed the man he held in such esteem. You are absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? I mean, have you not watched any true crime podcasts, my guy? <laughs> I am the true crime. I am the witness to the true crime. I am the true crime. <laughs> I commit a lot of stuff with that one man named Gumshoe. <laughs> Which is why there's no real need for an cross examination, is there? I mean, shit, last week I thought I was still 21, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I remember. When I was a senior in high school, I, when I would drive to school in the morning, like, it didn't hit me, like, that I was 18. Or, no, it didn't hit me that I was even 17, because, like, based on our school year, like, I turned my age late in the academic year. So, um, I didn't turn 18 until two months or a month and a half before graduation. So... I was, like, walking into the school one day, like, such a boss, like, coming for school buses and everything, and then, like, it hit me, like, oh, shit, I'm a senior and I'm graduating in, like, six months. <laughs> like, oh, shit, look at me. I'm a fucking senior. Wow. And then at this point, um, I, I, like, I don't even notice my age. I, like, I'm just like, all right, I'm a grad student. That's, that's my age. Grad student. <laughs> <laughs> that was my age in undergrad oh like what's your age senior sophomore freshman that's my age i don't am i 23 yeah i'm 23 For some reason i keep thinking i'm 24 when i'm not 24 oh god i'm gonna be old oh god i don't want to be old y'all <laughs> You ready? Do you want to continue this and not think about it? Yep. Before I have a mid a, a mid twenties crisis when I'm not even mid twenties. <laughs> I'm fucking mid twenties. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the ringmaster? We already know the answer. I need a refresher course on the answer because I remember I got it right at the end of the last stream because I put it as my title for the completed highlight from the last stream where I'm like, ha, I figured it out. But now I like vaguely remember. <laughs> <laughs> Existential crisis is fun. No, it's not. Not when you have anxiety and paranoia like me. And I don't take anything for those because I prefer talk therapy. <gasps> It's my buddy. What's your buddy? My Squishmallow, Alma. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's a bit delayed on the... No TV shit, it's TV. delayed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't expect it to be real time. <laughs> I kind of expect it to be. That's not pop. No, not in this day and age. Maybe five years from now. But At that's... least close to like real time, but anyways. Like, seven seconds is good. Seven to ten seconds is good. Anything be or even fifteen seconds is good. Anything beyond that, I'm just a little sus. This might be my last chance to answer that question. And of course, we'll cross-examine. Yeah. The defense has a right to cross-examine the witness. Sorry, I was trying to see what would happen <laughs> if you didn't question him. <laughs> it would just basically continue. Oh. You're so tactless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You just don't care about justice, do you? You just want to fabricate a motive. Very well, Mr. Wright. Cross-examine the witness.
And this so is where we press everything. Yep. All right, I'll play I Phoenix. All right. We. Oh, we. We. Yes, my brother Sean and I. We you. <laughs> we sports. <laughs> Okay, opinion. I loved Wii Sports. I never had a Wii, but whenever I would go to my friend's house who had a Wii, we'd always play Wii Sports, and it was so fun. That's why I think Mario Golf got me, like, it sent me to another dimension, and it just hit a chord in my brain. Like, oh my god, I need this game, because Wii Sports had golf, and I loved playing golf on Wii Sports. You know what made me want to buy the Switch, and I still want to buy the Switch? Animal Crossing? No, Dong and Rafa? Oh, Breath, Breath of the Wild 2 or 1? One? 1, because I don't think 2 has come out yet. No, they announced 2. Yeah. Um, I want to I want to play 2. I want my Groot Link. <laughs> <laughs> what? You have a brother? How old were you when this happened, Akro? I was 8 years old and my brother was 4. Hmm. Your parents were very cruel, weren't they? Can we- do we- do we have to pry into this man's, uh, traumatic past this deep? <laughs> Nowadays, we're bitter about what happened We to aren't us. bitter about what happened. <laughs> we are very bitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did this because crime. This... <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. This is, well, this is red, white acro, so that's why I thought that. <laughs> Because it allowed us to meet the wonderful people at the very big circus. We hate all of them. <laughs> Nick, the just getting misty-eyed. He's got a soft spot for sob stories, it looks like. Well, you're gonna enjoy a sob story of where the fuck oh, you, did Edgeworth go? <laughs> you must have really hated fucking uh, Edgeworth then for you not to tear up a bit. No crying in court. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh. The witness may proceed with his testimony. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry. Emotional judge, my beloved. <laughs> so it was cutting garlic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know I don't know why my eyes are wet. <laughs> they just they just do this sometimes. I think they're just doing a maintenance check. <laughs> Technically your eyes are always wet. Valid. Mm-hmm. They're very moist all the time. <laughs> Oh, fuck, wait, I need to press that statement. <laughs> I forgot what buttons were. How about you describe your relationship with the ringmaster? Oh, I thought I was gonna voice Phoenix, but okay. That's fine, I'm sorry. No, you're okay. <laughs> he was like an uncle, a father, and a big brother all rolled into one. The ringmaster and my brother were the only family I had. Had. Past tense. Because they're both dead, technically. Almost. Well, the one's in a coma. <laughs> Basically dead. <laughs> mm, what about the other people at the circus? That was over 15 years ago. Back then, there were very few customers coming in, like today. <laughs> so no one really had the time to look after us. They were worried about other things. But the ringmaster, he would always come up to see us with a laugh and a smile. What's well, a beautiful story. As I keep a very straight face, because I must keep my composure and make sure I don't get wrinkles where I don't need them. That's why I always thinking of what I could do to help. I want to thank him. Nick, isn't Echo such a wonderful person? Maya, <laughs> Maya, <laughs> calm no down. No one now. said he wasn't. I know he seems like a nice guy, which is why it makes this so difficult. Hmm, so then, how long have you been a performer? Okay. He started off as an acrobat at, the, an early, at that early of an age? I begged the ringmaster until he finally agreed to let me do it. Ever since then, I've been in incredible physical shape for the ladies. Wow, a buff ten-year-old. Wow. Just what we need. So, whatever. That's also <laughs> when I decided to form a group with my brother. We called ourselves the Flying Dingling Berries. It's nearly a household name. Flying Dingling Berries. 
<laughs> Why is this game horny? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not your I fault. I horny. I think it's just... I think it's just a joke, man. <laughs> it's nearly a household a name? How about very cringy, like, don't name your child this name? Like, it's on the do not... If you don't want your child to be bullied in school, do not name them this list. It's alright. The parents that named them this, we're already gonna make them orphans. <laughs> Um, I was going to say something, now I forgot. Okay. Alma, did you know what I was going to say? No, because you're an inanimate object. Okay. Um. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. Uh, 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 uh. Was it before uh, the dingling? Yes. I don't remember. Whoops. Oh! So, if he started at the age of nine, that meant his brother was five. Your brother couldn't consent to this shit, alright? <laughs> like... I mean, I don't know if they started at the same age, but alright. I've even heard of them in Germany. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Liar! The point is that I wanted to be of some use to the circus. Objectifying Alma? Listen... Alma, my beloved, just sits here. I'm Alma, I'm a cat. <laughs> Give me a hug. No, please don't voice Alma. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. Don't do that. <laughs> did you voice this? Yes, I did. Okay. Mm, you are truly a remarkable young man. Just keeps looking at Afro almost like a proud father. What are the chances the judge is the is the father? Very lightly because Can I roll for this? <laughs> sure. Roll an intelligence. Alright. I roll a three. <laughs> There's no way they, there isn't some blood relation. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Did you ever have any trouble with the ringmaster? Ow! How could you ask such a thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I mean, family drama exists. Just look at every family in existence. It happens at one point or another, no matter how good the marriage is. Or how good the kids are. It always happens. Hmm? I was gonna say... <laughs> I mean, they are orphans, so... Do you have some sort of fundamental misunderstanding of this witness's testimony? Or... Fair, actually. Or the heartfelt emotions contained within. Literally, her own family has so much drama. Mm-hmm. Her being... Her existence is drama. Oh, my goodness. The whip I was gonna say her alone. Brother's adopted. Yeah, because her brother is Edgeworth. You better think about this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You better think hard. Maybe that's why he she's like fighting. Well, not Von Drama. Maybe, like she maybe she's just maybe she's mad at Phoenix because Phoenix is more like a brother to Edgeworth than she is a sister to Edgeworth. Maybe. Maybe least, she's like, projecting. Could be. She wants her brother. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm, <laughs> no matter how you look at it, there's no way I could see this witness ever taking the victim's life. <laughs> Why do you look what? To prove her submission. To prove his submission. Exactly. I've been waiting for you to say that, Your Honor. Nick, I hate to say it, but I agree with them. I was trying to chase him down the truth, but I ended up just looking like a jerk. I think that will be enough for now. Pondering whether or not this man will kill the ringmaster leads me to believe that... It is pretty unlikely. Exactly right, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. What is your favorite sandwich? Do you like dogs? Do you like puppies? Go ahead, Jar. I would like to. Uh, no. 
Can you provide an explanation as to why Akra would want the Ringmaster dead? Of course I can. No, no. No. You're supposed to say I can't provide one. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Now that I've come this far, there's no way I could answer no, I can't. I don't know if that's supposed to- is that supposed to be internal monologue? No. Oh, this is gonna be good. Very well, then please enlighten the court. <laughs> Let's see some evidence that proves Akro's motive for killing the ringmaster. I guess I just- Try presenting Regina's Barry's profile, maybe. Because the game's going along with it, so... It says it says that you're supposed to say, I can't provide one. So maybe, like, the game is, like, setting you up to fail. And yeah. then it switches to, like, no, you actually can't provide anything. I hope so. Oh, fuck, wait. No, it's not even button. Did it work? Uh, oh, no. Let me just go over this one more time. Don't voice act this. It's just gonna... Okay. Give up presenting. Alright, let's get back. There we go. The reason that Acro killed the ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? That's because Acro has no reason to kill the ringmaster at all. Cause it, oh, because it wasn't for him. It was for Regina. He was supposed there to kill Regina. Go. That's right. I forgot. Yes. Ow! Your foolish attempts to fool us like foolish fools are so foolhardly foolish. Did you forget? He made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is the real killer of Russell Buried Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things? Acro. You didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just say? Because he wouldn't have been I've able to see who no, was down just... there. Because exactly. if he had known, if he was able to look down and see if it was the ringmaster, he probably he wouldn't, have done, wouldn't have done it. He would have waited or done something different. But because he couldn't do that, he accidentally killed the ringmaster instead of mm -hmm. his actual target. Yes, Judge, the end of all things. Tw 2012 is upon us. <laughs> God, that was a wild time. <laughs> I think a bus got into an accident in my school parking lot that morning. <laughs> I'm saying that the target of this witness's murder plot was not the ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. What? Order, order. Bailiff, I don't care who it is, smack anyone who's loud in the face. Twice if you must. But, Judge, you're the bailiff. <laughs> <laughs> I give myself permission to do a smackdown. Smack, smack. He smacks himself. Got a gavel for you. <laughs> That's right. What in the world are you trying to do to my court? Ow! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to his court? Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> Why did you whip him? Are you attempting to imply that Akko is trying to kill someone else and then we represent yeah. Regina's profile? Regina Bear. Regina Barry. This young girl is the Ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro. You were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? And this is why she needed to be here to hear this. You don't need to answer that. It's a mean spirited leading question. He could easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all he has to say is you're wrong. That's it. 
That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough, Mr. Wright, allow me to... Ow! The only thing allowed it to interrupt me is death itself. Huh? Yeah, so you either get whipped by her or she dies. And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence, now! I want to know why Aklo would kill Regina Barry. Yes, me too. I demand to see some proof. Is there evidence that proves Akro was out to kill his young girl? Mm, is and it? And we have to present the note. This note. I think that's the yes. Okay. Because that's what led to uh, uh, Barry Ling being out there. Mm-hmm. Are we sure? Says once, Long Karma wants to prove, present the note. He says, let's present evidence that proves Akro is out to kill the young girl. Yes. Alright. Okay. Akro, you remember this, don't you? Alright, I'm gonna save my game real quick. Okay. <laughs> It's a piece of evidence that we found inside Ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat? Akro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. So you're, s so you're saying that he called Russell Barry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Acro did indeed take this note into someone else's pocket. However, when someone was not when that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean it wasn't for the That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Barry. Order, 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 Mr. Wright. This little theory of yours. It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's where her father, I mean the ringmaster, saw the note. Are you jealous that a father actually cares about her daughter there, Von Karma? <laughs> That's correct. Just a little bit. <laughs> the ringmaster ended up in that plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake instead of Regina. That's... that's... that's incredible! I don't think that's the right word you're looking for there, Judge. Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today? Uh, Lifting the bus and looking out the window. I like birds. <laughs> Acro has no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza. Because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it w actually was. I got it, I've got it! Acro thought it was Regina down in the plaza. Uh-huh. And that's when he let the bus fly. Hey, Nick. Isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. She better. Akro wrote this note to Regina. Foolishly foolish fool with foolishly foolish fool ideas of foolish tomfoolery. You're so foolish you've ever made it sound like a foolhardly fool. Oh goodness, it keeps getting longer. Okay. <laughs> Okay, bye, spam bots. Nope. Goodbye. Get yeeted from chat. Fuck y'all. They have such a random assortment of numbers. Oh, oh my oh, god. Another one. Gotcha. And another one. Gotcha. Goodbye. Jesus. Any more punks? <laughs> I'm here. My cursor's ready to take you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard. 
last call. <laughs> Damn, four bots in a row. Yeah, that's how I used to get them, like, a long time ago when I was just starting out and at, like, a smaller follower count. And then, like, where was it? It was last night. That guy from Chai said, like, oh, do you get, do you get like, these spam bots, too? And I'm like, yeah, but, like, it's not. No-. Or Mary said, like, yeah, she gets them sometimes, but, like, not as often as she used to. And then now this. <laughs> Four in a row. Damn. Trying to make up for lost time. I got jinxed. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure, then tell me, tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yes. What about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Berry, it would mean that this note is declaring that Regina Berry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? How dare you question my dominance? Prepare to get whipped. The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza. In place of his lovely daughter. Oh, hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this incident that has been alluded to in this note? The incident six month months ago. I know all about it. Uh, yes, you do. <sighs> Sorry. Mm. An incident that occurred six months ago. And now I'm more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Moron. Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has its start of what happened six months ago. Really, Nick? I, um, I think so. Maya, you were there when we talked about this with him. Nick was also there. <laughs> exactly. Well then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know that I'd certainly like to know what it is. Well, I can't answer that question. The judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about the six months, six months ac incident is actually... Uh, the pepper? The seasoning bottle, yep. True, all true. <laughs> what kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It isn't a joke at all. It's decisive evidence you asked for. Oh, got him. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? I should... Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away from him. With him. He was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence is what was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Well, you better believe it, Judge, because it's true. <laughs> Don't stop believing. Very well, Mr. Ryan. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely what not. What exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina Berry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Foolish fool who never tires of his own foolish ways. You're so sure, Mr. Phoenix, right? Then answer this question. Who was Regina Varys' intended victim? And it's gonna be... The brother. Bat. 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 Who is this? That is Akro's younger brother. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, Bat has been in the coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Akro could feel that his brother is dead. Regina, she did that to him? Do you spend your entire life dreaming of new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Akko's brother, Sean Dingling. Six months ago, he was a bit he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. A lion? 
Regina, I mean. Miss Regina Barry is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. Hmm, so then what happened to Akro's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think... Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? It was more than that. Yeah, it was more than that. The lion biting Bat was no accident at all. Wh what? You're what such an today. amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There is no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being. And uh, we're gonna save the game here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am anxious. <laughs> <laughs> but Regina is responsible for uh, is responsible for making bat lions bite Acro's bat brother's bat. Ugh, and that's the scarf. scarf. Yes. Ah, oh, fuck wrong. But I can't talk. New Yorker. That that's just a scarf. And fucking Ron Carmus be like, where the fuck did you get that? <laughs> Go shoo! <laughs> and whip him. Come shoo is far away from here at the moment. <laughs> he ran. He ran. He ran so far away. Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Acro. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? Looks like a napkin. It does. That's right. Mr. Right. <laughs> and, and who's the one that gave this scarf White. to Bat? Re Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina. Dinkleburg. <laughs> there is something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. Dinkleberg. And what might that be? Pepper. 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 <laughs> Pepper. Pep? Pepper. 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 <laughs> Just the loop of that. <laughs> Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the incident. And she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Hey, what's with the <laughs> The bird is back. Guess who's back? Back again. Back again. Birdie's Guess back. Guess who's back? Tell a uh, friend. Tell a friend. Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Wright. There's a bird. It's hitting your head. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal. Oh. That's a bad phrasing. <laughs> What is this phrasing? What do you want? No. <laughs> Judge, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> Maybe that's just poor translation. It might be. I. How could they do this purposefully? <laughs> I, I have know. questions. <laughs> Excuse me, writing staff, could you. What the fuck? What the fuck? A lot of curiosity. <laughs> what was your crop? Um. Miss Berry gave a pepper covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? It still seems like the judge doesn't get it. Then just fucking explain it! God! Phoenix! I'm gonna punt you. I'm gonna. Ooh, that felt good. Ooh! Hell yeah! Thank you, fingers, for cracking. Now I gotta crack everything now. Oopsies. Long karma sweats. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Wasn't it said that the lions seem to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion, for a moment, the lion's mouth changes and looked like it was smiling. 
cry and smile? Oh my god, he's trying to figure that out. Oh my god, judge, please. <laughs> I've never heard of him smiling, however. Lion sneeze. <laughs> judge is fucking broken. It's like a baseline. <laughs> Technically, it's a perfectly acceptable way to say pointed out or similar, but it's not its not one used often anymore. Yeah, because... The judge is very old-fashioned. Yeah, and those words have gotten a more common meaning now, too. Yeah, when you finger someone. Mm-hmm. More literal now. Yeah, literally. Yee. Leon wasn't trying to bite bad at all. reality he actually sneezed he has the wubs <laughs> hey sunglass kid how are you he sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf w what how did bat not notice all the pepper wouldn't he I have mean, sneezed he might have and he might have noticed but he wouldn't have thought about it whenever putting it in the lion's face maybe you fool You've got to be kidding me. Objection. I kid your objection. W what's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I don't know. I don't feel in power anymore. I don't know what to do. Well, that's because you're worthless now. <laughs> Dad, I want a hug. <laughs> but I can't hug my father. He's in jail, you fucker. <laughs> you can still hug him through the bars. I... I object. For objection's sake. Mr. I Phoenix rides. You, this theory, you believe it? You really intend to say th that this is how an, uh, this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot. Uh, Regina put it on there, and she w put it as a joke, and then he put his head in the line and got, went unconscious. Yes, and is oh. currently in a coma. Ha. <laughs> it almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that's what I said was true? Acro, you don't mean, you can't mean, witness. I paid you! Witness I gave me. you weed! <laughs> <laughs> Some things are more than weed, sister. <laughs> hey, so Mr. Sister. Wright. <laughs> Unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I sense so much bullshit right now. I see where we're, you're going, but it's a hard it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. Guess this case is out in the weeds. We're almost done with it. We should be finishing it tonight, knock on wood. Yeah. We'll probably finish this case and then see the start of the next case and then be done if I drop Max's bus on top of the ringmaster where's the evidence that proves that claim uh, so what is he looking for evidence for the bust we don't know where the bust is we only have a picture of the bust we don't actually have it I think he hit it or something or and then that's on. the question is where did he hide it
looking through my evidence. Maybe Gumshoe will come in and tell us? Oh, maybe. Room. We haven't had a chance to really look in his room. Yeah, we were able to look in his room once, Whenever... but it was for it was for something else. We went up there to talk to him, only to, for it to be taken over. Well, don't forget, we went up to Acro's room when Money stole something from us, but we only found that thing. We didn't actually have to look around. And no, then we, we went up to talk to him, and then we couldn't look around. Because after that, Von Karma stopped us and took over the, the room and yeah. took him to witness. To be honest, sometimes it really does feel like Phoenix Wright ends up being just as much of a prosecutor as a defense attorney. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be... I, the whole... It, the thing he's trying to do is that he's trying to find the truth. And so, since he's a defense attorney, he's obviously going to accuse someone else. Mm-hmm. And of course, so because the prosecution... The and of course, the prosecution's... Prostitution? Um, prosecution is gonna be like... What do you mean? Like, no, like that guy's yeah. the. They're gonna use the their problem. evidence to support what. They what they believe, what, what they want. Their assertion is. What their assertion is, and if it doesn't support that, then yeah, but. Mm hmm Otherwise, this whole thing is a bust. Could the bust e? Could the bust be broken up? Could be. I mean, I doubt it. it that'd be. It's made. It was made of brass. It'd be pretty hard to break. And even and then. Bronze. Yeah. Especially since especially since he can't really leave his room. Yeah. Like fine powder or small rocks? Yeah, if like case, he can't use his legs, it. and so he can't leave his room on his own. So it's probably still it's either... in his room. Maybe he had money broken, take it somewhere. Room, where would he take it? All he does is take stuff to his like room. pile, yeah, with the tuba. <laughs> yeah. The tuba's still so funny to me. Like, what other thing could he have used as a weapon? The tuba? Maybe we'll, <laughs> that shit's maybe heavy. Maybe we'll get more information if we continue. Yeah. You mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof, to be more preci precise. Technically, even Mark Karma doesn't have a murder weapon for our accused, either. Yeah, really, she weapon. doesn't. The bus that the defense claims was used. Versus what? The fucking prosecutor that just says she, he uses his bare hands or something? No, <laughs> yeah. A blunt if force were, object. A fist? <laughs> if that were to be found in Akron's room, he's not even that, like, like, upper body strength. I can't see how he'd knock out Russell Berry, let alone kill him. Yeah, exactly. Like, Max is very lanky and thin. Like, not saying that's a bad thing, but, like, that's Acro's just his body just type. Body. That's his body type. Like, Acro, like, you could physically see his muscles. <laughs> he could probably knock you out pretty hard. Yeah, sucker punch to the face. Boom. The only thing is, he can't stand. <laughs> and if it uh, was not cur covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. It was the scarf. He killed him with the scarf. <laughs> the bus. Nick, you gotta do something. What do you... What do you think he's trying to do, Maya? What do you think? What do you think? Stop interrupting him. Maybe let, let him think. Let him think thonk, all right? God, Maya. I'm not I'm not a Maya stan, if you can tell. Not in this episode. Not in general. Not in this case. Like, her, this episode, she's just, Ouch. like, intolerable. But, like, other ones, like, I'm, like, indifferent on her. I like her in few cases but in this one she's just not helpful at all this is the last step if i get this one right the case is won um search Akro's room work out. or think see i think so see how things work out yeah surely von karma has already checked the room might be worthwhile to search Akro's room but why aren't you going to search his room it looks like you finally figured things out didn't you now you know the truth of the meaning of von karma total justice I guess. I figured with you, that's the least I should expect. You to leave no stone unturned. Avon Karma never leaves anything to chance. 
The only search echoes from yesterday. What, what did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in the room, Akko would not be here as a witness. What's the point? Uh, put a point on it. Max's room was. N Max's boss was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright? The bust wasn't in my room. Then where could it have gone? There's only one place it could have gone. There's only one thing that left that room. The wheelchair. Is it somehow hiding in his wheelchair? He's wearing a blanket over his legs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. And he took, we took Akko directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End of story. Just, just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you lack the final nail to put into my coffin. But, but what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. That sounds definitely scripted. <laughs> Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bus, where is it now? Where's the bus right now? You're Phoenix Wright. You know where that bus is. I'm sure you do. There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bus is? Just look at Maya's chest. That's it. There you go. <laughs> bus is right there. God. She bet on the flatter side, though, compared to her sister. True. If the it bus seems is this case under is coming there. to a close. The court, the defense's counter arguments looks to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Ah. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings to an end of the cross-examination of this witness. If the bus is under the blanket, why would it be there? So that they wouldn't have found it when they were searching the room. Because obviously they're not going to ask a man in a wheelchair to remove the blanket that's covering yeah. his injured legs. That would just seem really insensitive, don't you think? Um, they would. Plus they have no reason to. Or in their eyes, they would have no reason to. Yeah, in their eyes, they have no reason. They have no, basically, cause. Yeah, they, they wouldn't have thought. To look because there. if you carry it around, you, no one will find it. <laughs> Who said it? Maya? Maya? <laughs> Where is Max's bust? Because I'm his sweetie and I deserve to know. <laughs> I, I, I want to get my klepto on it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a choice to carry it. They went right from the search to the prosecutor's office. Couldn't get rid of it. Yeah. That too. The defense needs time to repair the pr prayer to present its lace. I meant case. I'm sorry. I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. <laughs> oh, we need to. Uh, uh, bow. Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. And it would still be there in the courtroom. Yeah, because he hasn't had, like, why would he? Because like, he hasn't had a chance to do anything with it. Yeah, it would just be chilling there. And, like, obviously he's not going to remove it at the prosecutor's office. Like, oop, let me just, like, boop, pop this out. Oh, here's the, oh, here's here's the, the thing you're looking the for. That I used. Don't ask why I have it, miss. Don't ask why I have it. Please don't whip me. I don't like that. <laughs> if you're going to whip me, whip my legs. I, I can't feel them anyway. I whipped Acro, surprisingly. Because she's being sensitive because because he, he's disabled. I mean, I'm just amazed that she actually is sensitive to the guy that's disabled. Maybe because 
he's orphaned and Fien or Edgeworth was orphaned. Maybe she maybe she feels like some sort of sympathy for that situation. Also because also because he's lost his brother, even if he's not dead, and the same thing with Von Karma. Even though she doesn't believe he's dead, but he's yeah. not here right now, so Do you really have a case to resent, Mr. Yes, yeah, right? so we've already figured it out. A G already figured it out. What, are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Oh, thanks, bitch. <laughs> thanks, Maya. You're so unhelpful. Hey, wait a minute. It, you can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives on the line, don't they? That's how Acro has lived up the, his life until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well, the defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic, there's no room for a false step. Sink or swim, the only way for through is forward. Save my game. <laughs> Even though we know the answer. You <laughs> like, just want to make sure. Don't want to lose. Yeah. The murder weapon. Where is Max's bus now? Somewhere in this, in court this courtroom. <laughs> in this very courtroom. It's obvious. The bus is inside this very courtroom. Now, who has it up their ass? Who? Please raise your hand. We won't judge you. <laughs> the judge raised his hand. Oh my god, no. Please. It's, it's obviously where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. The witness it's stand. <laughs> Acro. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Sweats. Oh, he doesn't sweat. This man is cool as a cucumber. So how do we get to that conclusion? To what conclusion exactly? The uh, bus being there? Because where else would it be? If it's not in Acro's room because they looked through it, the only thing that came out of that room was Acro himself. And he can't leave his room without someone else's aid. And he and... went straight to the prosecutor's office right after that. Mm -hmm. So obviously he's not going to remove it when he's at the prosecutor's office. Be like, oh, hi, by the way, uh, this is the murder weapon. Uh, don't pay any second mind to it. It's not. You just act like it doesn't exist. Um, just pretend it's not there. <laughs> pretend it's just, fine. just play the invisible game. It's fine. Um... And so, like, if he were to give it to someone else, they would be like, oh, shit, this is where this went. And then they would probably had said something. Bust in the chair? How do we tell the judge that? Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. I'm pretty sure you heard me. You're just acting like I'm you didn't. I'm pretty sure you did, too. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Besides a big dick! <laughs> Jesus. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say hide a bust under there. Wouldn't you be able to see it from the backside, though? You might be able to. The only thing you'd see would probably be, like, green. Mm-hmm. Who looks at the back of someone's wheelchair, though? It's kind of hard to see under there. Depends on who you are. Evil maniacal laugh. Hello. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. 
Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Why would, would you please remove the blanket from your lap? No, I can't, because I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. Like Shawshank, no one looks at someone's shoes. I look at people's shoes? Oh god, the whip is back. You, you fool. How could you? You've got me. I've been bagged for a real pro. Actually, two of them. Maya is not a pro, alright? She's just I, she's just I an imposter. <laughs> I think he's talking about Miss Von Karma. Oh good. Two of them? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. Maya's sus. Maya is always sus of stealing something. <laughs> She's clapped though. Why did I? No, I didn't want to save the game. What the fuck? What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? Question mark? There were two pieces of decisive ev evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. It's kind of refreshing to not have like an overzealous um, breakdown. Breakdown. Like he's just he's just accepting it. He's just like, yeah. like I think I'm he's caught. been pretty zen for a while. Yeah, he's probably like like, he's had so much happen to him that he's probably like, you know what? It is what it is. Like, I can't... There's no reason to fight. Or I think his anger over his brother has been consumed with sadness for killing the ringmaster. Mm. So he's kind of just come full circle at this point. The full circle of grief, really. His, his, angry, his angry rage mixed with his cold sadness has just made him, like... You know? Acceptance. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Mm, it all makes sense now. Can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. I don't think she did. Uh huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. And she, over here, she's like banging the the, the stand. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I sure couldn't. She's mad. She lost. I can't believe it. Me make a mistake. Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. It seems we finally arrived at the truth. Sorry. <laughs> it seems we finally arrived Judge? at the truth. Judge? <laughs> Judge got hip. Oh my. Acro. Yes, your honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the very big circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. Von Karma really do be more upset losing than happy that they got the actual murderer. Yeah, because she's determined to defeat Phoenix, that's why. Also, like, she's more upset that they lost than Acro himself, who's the actual murderer who's gonna get convicted now. Like, oh my goodness. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf in pepper. 
I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just went to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What I'm truly guilty of, I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So, are you saying that you are a victim in all this as well? I mean, his brother is in a coma. Probably... Probably never gonna wake up. So... No, that's not what I mean. Oh. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. These tear tracks, though, got me. Like, they look like fucking ghosts coming out of his eyes. At first I thought I'd killed myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But I just, I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just... I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. A fucking long one. I want to go to bed. <laughs> it's almost a reflection uh, of the circus itself. I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. You beat me again. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Guilty. <laughs> oh, wow. Look how fabulous. How tall he is. Yeah, he's tall. This court is adjourned. Until is next case, peace, brothers. <laughs> We're going sailing. Yeah, he's a tall country bumpkin. Only took us in game on time like six and a half hours. <laughs> Fabulous. But to be honest, I couldn't really be too happy about this. Akko, the ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? That's a good question, and the one I don't know the answer to. So, Ben is not a good person. Okay, glad we're all on the same page there. <laughs> Many congrats, but only to add Max, a million of them. <laughs> but thank you. with the vibe in this room. We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then they'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? Well... She's been like this for a while now. I'm not voice acting this. It's all my fault. Sweetie, sweetie pie. Max, how can you defend her at this point? Bad and Acro, they're never coming back. But you're concerned about them and not your father? To be fair, she probably she probably still doesn't realize entirely that he's dead. That's true. I don't want to see her esophagus anymore. Or her, the, the thing that hangs in the back of the throat. I don't want to see that anymore. Can Ugula. we not? Huh? Ugula. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Stop. Please stop this animation game, please. <laughs> Press to continue. No, no, everyone's going to split up. Regina. 
Just the right. Tell me something. What? What do you want to know, Regina? Do you love me? No. Really? <laughs> That's a big fat no. Agra said something right at the end. Does that mean that Acro is he gonna try and get his revenge on me? I don't think so. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. I mean, he's going to jail. Can't do that in jail. <laughs> Are you sure? You're really sure? I can believe that. Yep. Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence. Huh? I want to know you're not just making stuff up about Acro not wanting revenge. <laughs> um. We have to present Bat's profile. Acro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Bat! That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I never knew. But now that Acro's been caught... Uh-huh. I know. What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes... And then can and then until he can meet Acro again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. Oh my god, he's just ready to fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, this is the best news I've ever heard. Better than me not being convicted guilty. What's going to happen to the circus now? Ah, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. What is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. He looks so unpleased with that decision. I'll turn this circus into the best circuit this world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen. D don't don't laugh at me. That's quite the goal. Yay, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make this circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, oh, sorry, that's when I was talking. <laughs> Fair enough. I thought that was too. Um, Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh... You've got to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. No. Most right, sweetie pie. It can't be the Berry Big Circus without Regina Berry. Max? Nick? It seems like everything is going to turn out alright here. I can't wait to go see the best circus the world has ever seen. Well, save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. Oh my god. <laughs> uh 
Oh no. I see what made the case. Okay, <laughs> yeah, surprise raid, it really paid off. Um, you had oh, it all yeah, figured, it all out, figured didn't out, didn't you? you? It was just a theory. Backer really was the killer. I thought it was the only way it could only end. It could end. I don't know who's speaking. Especially I if actually do. he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Mr. Wright. Of course. Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. <gasps> As for Mr. Ackroyd's case, you need, need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. I try. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you. Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. A game theory. Oh, wait. Turn about Big Top. The end. Thank That's just fuck. A game theory. Thank fuck. Farewell, my turn about. Oh, we got an achievement. Turn about Big Top. Woo. Banner episode has been added. Thank God. I think we'll call it here. We could start the next trial next week. Fine with me. All right, cause it's. I was not expecting that to take way as long as it did. That took the entire stream time. <laughs> Fucking hell. God, this was. Now I'm excited for the next trial. Damn. Me too, but we have to wait for next week. Oh well, it's fine. It's gonna um, be worth it. Yeah, it'll be it'll worth be it. Worthy. Man. But thank you everyone for uh, joining tonight. Um, there will be stream Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern, Sonatica, Below Zero. Tuesday, we're going to be starting Watch Dogs Legion. Thursday will be uh, Ultra Despair Girls. And then Friday will be um, more Phoenix Right going into our last trial for this game. Um, my stream schedule shouldn't be changing next week. I do have some other events going on that I'm planning, but I need to plan kind of not around my schedule, so I need to be flexible, but as of now, the stream schedule remains as is, um, unless if I say otherwise in the Discord. Um, can't wait if the next one is what I think it is. Probably is. I don't, I have no idea. Um, Grant probably knows, or I think he does know. Um, what do I know? What the next trial is. Oh, yeah. Totally do. <laughs> um, but thank you everyone for joining. So we're gonna go raid my friend Sam Sanity, who is playing Apex right now. So we're gonna go raid him. We're gonna start that timer. Um, thanks for the stream. Hope you have a good night. Thank you, you too. Thank you to everyone for joining. Um, and have a good weekend. Mm. I will see mm. you mm. on Sunday for some more Subnautica. I think we're going to be finishing it. I think. Or we're Ooh. close to the end. We're close to the end of Blue Zero. Because we got all the parts to the alien body. Now we just got to find the alien body. Um, yup. And then kill it. Kill it. Uh, I don't know if we're killing it or not. But, uh, so we're going to go raid now. Bye. Bye.